Well, well, well. So you want to be a hunter. Okay. Good news, twofer, got your back. You know, it's all about baby. It's all about that dog life. All right. So remember how I told you in my preview, there's going to be a few how-to videos. This one's how-to. I was out on a walk on the beautiful Sohomish River uh, with my wife, Kathleen, and I'm like, huh, you know what? Even though I got a poo turtling, I'm gonna stop and just for the people, just for you, I'm going to do my intro for this video with this backdrop versus me just zooming in my dark basement with Indiana bones in the background. That's my skeleton. Seventh grade science teacher, thank you very much. That's not one of my kills. So uh, this this one's very important. Let me let me start off by saying this. Everything you do, everything you do for planning for hunting has to be geared around where are the animals going to be? Let me say, say that again. Where are the animals going to be? So I'm gonna save you 50 hours of heartache, stress, disappointment. 50 hours is 10 hours longer than the average work week. It is, uh, if you drove from Seattle to New York City, and then took a good night's rest, woke up in the morning, that's 50 hours. So I wanna save you 50 hours of heartache that I went through along with Corey to get yourself to a successful hunt, okay? So number one, this might be like, hey, Captain Obvious, thanks a lot for the advice, but it's amazing how much more success you have as a hunter if you're in an area where there's animals to hunt huh imagine that so what i'm trying to say is do not start from the standpoint of hey this looks like a good hunting area i'm going to pack up i'm going to get all my stuff ready i'm going to spend the entire weekend and sit there in my blind doing nothing besides sit there and being quiet and having your partner tell you to shut up you're too loud okay so i'm going to help you there so you have to go with the mindset where are the animals? Okay, so I actually wrote this down because this one's important. I figured I, I didn't want to ad lib all this. So the, number one, okay, remember, mindset. Where are the animals? Number one, what do you want to hunt? Two first suggests if you are just starting off. Now, I, my situation was a little different. I purposely want to make a documentary of learning everything in a year and showing how stupid that is but I had a blast doing it. So if you wanna do that, good luck. Very expensive, a lot of work. However, two first suggests you start off with birds. Ducks, geese, turkeys. Two fur can get you a successful hunt for each one of those. So number one, what do you wanna hunt for? The video you're about to watch is me doing it from scratch, first time ever, not having a clue what I'm doing. So I will pause and put different suggestions as I go on after the fact of what I did wrong, okay? I'm giving you everything I got for free. That's just kind of guy I am. So number one, where do you want to hunt? Uh, again, suggest uh, duck, oops, forgot pheasants. Pheasants, geese, turkey. Uh, now, the main reason uh, I suggest that is because they're all hunted with a shotgun. As a beginner, you have hundreds of options to hit a bird versus one, uh, one bullet for a rifle. A lot better odds, okay? You don't have to be a math major like Dufer to figure out that's better odds, right? Okay, uh, if you're doing, if you're, whatever you're gonna do, know the hunting season, okay? Research the animal, know, know where does it live? Uh, is it nighttime? Uh, is it more during dusk and dawn or during the day? Well, you know, you have to know the animal. Um, and then uh, you have to get your gun. Okay, notice that I haven't even talked about going to the gun range. Notice that all your energy, all your um, thought process needs to go, where are the animals? What is the animal I'm hunting? Okay, going to shoot the gun at the gun range is fun. And a shotgun's not hard to learn, okay? Anybody can learn a shotgun because you're not gonna kill an animal unless you're the King Cory. I gotta throw him a bone once in a while. And shooting a turkey at seven yards, they're gonna be pretty close, okay? You can see the whites of their eyes when you kill them. All right, 
Um, so a shotgun is about 300 bucks, give or take a few hundred, depending on how fancy you want to get it. But you can get a decent shotgun in the 300 range, okay? So that's number one, it's cheaper than a rifle. Number two, it's easier to kill the animal, okay? Um, and then, uh, here, this is just a couple things I wrote down. Uh, when you get your licensing, you have to determine, am I just doing, uh, so what do you want to hunt? Uh, and you have to get all the licenses. I'll probably do an episode on buying a license and going through. That's a whole nother, uh, whole nother thing is what type of license do I need for that bird? For instance, mistake we made in 2021, we didn't know that ducks needed a federal uh, duck stamp that you must sign. Okay, so when I do my duck episode, I'll, I'll go into more depth about what you need for ducks and what whatnot. To scout, okay? Unfortunately, there's not a better way, even the most experienced hunters go during the summer, go during non-hunting seasons, and you scout the area. For me, and Corey, we had to go across the state. So we actually did our first scouting trip. We were trying to hunt turkeys, but it turned into a scouting trip, which two weeks later we back, went back and used our knowledge and we got a turkey, okay? So I'm sharing all that with you so you can avoid that whole first uh, 20 hour driving, driving trip, which was a nightmare, nightmare. Okay, so you have to think, so number one, where are the animals going to be? Number two, private land, private land, private land, beg, beg, beg. Say it with me. I'm going to see if I can get a bouncy ball on this. Private land, private land, private land, beg, beg, beg. You do not, you want to do whatever you can to avoid public land. You're going to have way more success. You'll see, actually one thing you didn't see, I, I lost video of this, is you're driving through the country on private land. Turkeys, 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 turkeys. Oh, here comes the wilderness area that you're allowed to hunt. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You get all the wilderness area, private land. Turkeys, turkeys, turkeys. So I've talked to numerous hunters about this and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's because the animals are so smart or the fact that the ones that go to those areas get killed. It might be both, I don't know. So anyway, private land is your best bet. Scouting, okay? Going up like I did and talking to someone and say, hey, listen, and I don't know if I'll do a video on that, but you have to sell yourself. You have to convince that person you're not a psycho. You got a gun on their property. It's almost, I'd rather sell vacuums to them than go on their property. I don't think I would let someone on my property with a gun, depending on my situation. Uh, if I have a tons of acres, being a hunter myself, I probably would say yes, but who knows. Okay, so we're talking about scouting now, okay? That is your key success. Russell Wilson says success is in the preparation, okay? So if we're talking about scouting, what you need to do is during the off season, go scout and look around for potential places. When the season gets closer, that's when you go back because you have, you have to make sure those animals have not moved in a different area. It wouldn't make sense to beg for some land and then you go back for hunting and they're not there. So the, one of the biggest things for scouting is whenever you're ready to hunt, you should be scouting close to that time as possible. So there's an initial scouting and that can be done via the internet. And if you know, and you're gonna watch the video, I go through all that in detail on the video on the, um, for, for me in the state of Washington, it's the Washington Fish and Game Wild, uh, uh, Fish and Game website. Okay, they have a they have a really good uh, interactive map on the species of uh, animals you want to hunt and where they're located and when the hunting seasons are. Okay, so those are all things you have to do. So we're talking about scouting. So before you leave your house, you should do some internet search. For me, if you when you watch the video, I'm on the Washington Fish and Game um, website, okay? So every state has their own uh, organization that controls the wildlife, okay, hunting regulations. So you go to that website and that's where you can start off. And then you have friends, friends of friends of friends, and you get help 
okay? You need to get help from this. You got two for as a resource, and you have that one buddy who knows a buddy, okay? So that's for the scouting, to know where the animals are, start doing the initial research. Then, on private land, you go out and you look, you know where the area you wanna go from your initial research. So you go to that area, and you start getting spots. You start doing more research. So in your back pocket, you have those feel free to hunt feel, uh, by reservation, uh, or you have stopped and talked to someone, or you have seen this wildlife refuge, and you've done the research. You, in your back pocket, you have those areas. Uh, and then, Primary, you want to go beg to go on some private land. That's when you're going to have the most success. Okay, that's your ultimate goal when you're out of your house. Okay, so let's review. When you're in your house, you do internet research first. Second, you go out to the places that you've learned where the animals are and you look for them and say, hey, look it, there's a turkey. I probably could kill it when it's season because he's there now. Huh, imagine that. So, this is something. I did not do since I'd almost do all the research. Corey comes along for the ride. So that's what I did not do, and that's the biggest thing I learned from my first season. Internet research, off season, go scout. During the season, go kill. Okay, simple as that. All right, hey. That's all I got. You know what it's about. You know, you already know what it's about. You already know it's about that, Doug. Whoops, life. All right, twofer. Love you. Sign it off. Whoop. Yeah, that's right, baby. Uh, I just got done hiking, so I'm actually exhausted. But I wanted to follow up. Um, I'm not sure what really happened after the fifth beer. Um, when Corey and I were scheduling our turkey hunt. So I want to follow up uh, with you on what I'm actually doing. So what I'm access, accessing here is the uh, state of Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. That's, uh, I remember back when we were growing up in Wisconsin, I believe it's called the DNR, Department of Natural Resources, or maybe that's the federal. I think that's federal, but um anyway that's what we call it here a department of fish and wildlife so uh i'm gonna look for private lands now Now, the get together at the tavern actually was huge because we found out that the best place to get wild turkey uh, is an area uh, close to Spokane. Spokane is famous for Gonzaga Bulldog basketball team, uh, but it's also a very um, beautiful area in the northeast part of the state. Uh, it's much different than the west side. It's more dry, uh, but it still has some beautiful land. So turkey hunting in uh, an, a place called Coolville, if I'm not pronouncing that right, I apologize, Coolville, C-O-U-L-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E. and it's actually all of Stevens County. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for, so Corey had this idea. Um, we're going to see who allows us to come on to hunt uh, for free or uh, minimal fee. So if you go into, I was just showing, um, I was just going into this right here. This is what I was, this is what I just started doing um, at uh, Summit to Sound. Uh, tap room. So 
uh, there's actually, so I have no idea about any of this. Um, I'm gonna try this first. It's a private land website. So private hunting land opportunities, that sounds good. Okay, so this is exactly the website I was showing you. Um, so I checked out Feel Free to Hunt and I went through this whole thing uh, and there was nothing in Stevens County. Now, what I might do if we, I don't think we're gonna strike out with Stevens County because the others, there's some, I'm just double checking. I'm going through this list here. Uh, okay. And there's nothing, what I could do, first of all, when I'm going through this list, I'm excited about other opportunities. If it's just, hey, let's get a weekend and go shoot a squirrel, or hey, let's go shoot some rabbits, or uh, these areas are all Yakima, Walla Walla, these are all in the middle of the state. So I bet you that'd be great, um, you know, like pheasant and Let me go back here. Now this is where I started finding some. So when I, I see my county that I live in right here, I'm like, wait a second, what are we hunting here? Can this go hunt deer there? That'd be so cool. Or just go, I, I need to do a little more research, but this is where I live. There's like register. Register to me, like you have to contact them and say, hey, you know, get permission basically. But just go, you know, and the more that we dig into this, the more that we'll probably know friends of friends that have say yeah just you know go if you want to take a shotgun some weekend and just walk around the woods get some exercise and blow away a couple squirrels to eat you know camp, uh like steve riddell says uh camp meat get some camp meat that's so funny uh so you know that's what i'm when i look at all these skagit's close to us uh, walk comes close to us anyway so what i'm looking for right now is i'm looking for stevens stevens is the county once again where is supposedly and we've done our research Corey and i are both kings of internet research so wow this all this the homish it really intrigues me when um that intrigues me to do some research so I first two, I have nothing for Steven. So hunt by written permission. Corey has this idea since I'm a teacher, this is my job. I think he's trying to pawn it off on me, but he thinks, yeah, just tell me you're a teacher. And so I'm like, I don't know if that's gonna help. And I don't know like this written permission, I'm gonna sit. So, so it says private lands where hunters must contact the land, landowner to obtain written permission before hunting their property, uh, WDF, W provides signs and permissions. So that of course is Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. That's what it's called here, I guess, W, W, D, F, W. Um, make their lands available through uh, this program. A landowner name and contact, telephone number are placed on the hunt by written permission signs. Okay, so that doesn't help me. So that means I have to go to the spot and then call them for appropriate, it doesn't make sense. So I'm hoping when we go through here, there's more contact information because I did look at the bar. We did, I found, I brought my laptop and Spokane, Spokane, Spokane. That's all on the east side, close to where we wanna go. Uh, there's Stevens right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting these, so it says um, Duggan's LLC. Now an LLC is like a corporation, isn't it? So, so there's Stevens. It says all species, it says hunt by written permission. Okay, general hunt, no restrictions on number of hunters. That's not that great um, 380 acres that's good scouting is not allowed okay so of course what that means is they don't want you going and walking around checking the area um, when you're 
not going to be hunting. No hunting blinds provided or allowed. Okay, that's not good. Because we're planning to, no tree stands provided or allowed. Corey and I were planning to use some blinds for turkey hunting. So, it's walk-in. Hunt by written permission includes access private lands where hunters must contact the blah, blah, blah. We already got that. Um, so, here we go. Point boundaries. So, this is... This, it looks like it's several areas. Uh, no, it says 721. And I don't know if that's a tent site. So then comes a question of how do you get there? How do you contact this person? And can you, like, where is a road? Is it is accessible by road? <laughs> Corey and I do not want to be hiking multiple miles into for a turkey. Turkey should be a situation where you can go to the um, site by car and unpack it uh, versus doing backpacking. Um, in my opinion, I'm only going to go through that. Uh, a turkey, I don't know if a turkey is worth uh, walking and backpacking into the backcountry. Uh, that would be, I would be wanting to have the possibility of shoot something big, moose, elk, bear. We do not have caribou. I believe we don't have caribou in Washington. But, um, so, 721 is the land. So it's close to Waits Lake. Okay, so if I go a little bit further out... So it looks like there's different symbols, which I need to figure out, see if it's down here. Here we go. Hunt access point, parking area. So that tells me right there that it's several miles away from the parking area. So that's not positive. Water blind, waterfall blind point, tree stand location point, gated entry point, okay. So this is all good. And is there more? It says, it looks like there's more. Closed, open, feel free to hunt. Oh, okay. So it's got a color code, hump by written permission. And then the last one is safety zone, polygon, whatever the, that is. Okay, so if I go a little bit further out, oh dude, we're talking right up by Canada. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so if I go, oh geez. <laughs> okay first of all i need to figure out where steve okay all right now we're getting somewhere if steve i don't think stevens county is this whole thing if it is uh ugh, that's a big okay now that's the whole state okay so there's spokane i live over here in everett it doesn't look that far but that's five hour drive ish okay so this, oh, here we go. There's Spokane. There's Luncheon or whatever that says. Someone probably just laughed at whoever lives there. Okay, this is Stevens. Okay, so if you get close, there's Stevens right there. So Stevens, okay. So here's Stevens. And I wish they would have, here's a town called Chule. I probably slaughter that too. So I, we need to figure out where... On this map, I need to cross-reference it to the town, Coolville. But they said they said anywhere in that area. So, hunt access point. So these are all hunt access points. Okay. Oh, I now there is a parking right there. Oh my gosh, that would be perfect. Oh, I thought that was a lake. I got all excited. So that's a different one. Okay, so. I'm going back here. I'm going to go back. I'm just seeing what's out there. So there's Dungeons LLC. No idea. And usually these, oh, here's another one, Front Porch. <laughs> now that would be the best if I could sit on a rocker and have my lemonade with vodka. And then, well, actually, that's one rule. Corey and I have two rules. I can't goof around with bolts in the gun. And number two, we're not going to be drinking and hunting. There's, that's, just stupid. I mean, 
Okay, so there's several things with Stevens. So I'm just gonna go through here and see what's available, see what's out there, see what our options are. Start contacting these person. You know, I don't even care if we get close to a town and stay in a hotel. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not any less of a man if you're staying in a hotel. I mean, I think you're smarter. Uh, there is something to camping. Some of these places didn't allow, I know, uh, d d don't allow camp fire. So if I'm not camping and I'm not having a campfire, I'm not sure if there's advantage for being outside when it's freezing. Because uh, April in Eastern Washington still could easily be below freezing the entire day, especially at night. I'm not saying I'm a wuss. Okay. I, I'm okay with doing that, but <clears throat> let's be honest. So um, I'm going to mess around here a little bit and I'll come back if I see anything uh, worth sharing. Okay, everybody. So I spent um, some time going through, uh, let me show you. Um, uh, so I spent some time uh, with written permission. Um, so didn't I have some ideas there? I'm gonna get back. I'm not quite sure how to do the written permission. It doesn't. It's not really spe specific. But then I went through, and there's a section here: hunt by reservation. Um, I'm just reading this here. Hunters required to carry their half of the permission. Okay. Uh, so this one is basically like pay to play. And it's by it. I don't know why this wouldn't be the most popular. So that I can go down to actually Stevens County. I just uh, watched. There's like nothing. Uh, here we go. So I've already. So it looks like all these people who I've already clicked on have a reservation. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Okay. So. Maybe let's see if I click on Lee Smith Farms. Okay, so I go to this one. Ah, uh, and that's exactly what I was on. Oh, that's frustrating. That was exactly what I was on. Um, huh. Okay, so this is the exact same site if you go with the written uh, permission. So I'm actually, I logged into, I made an account that's associated with my um, WDFW, I got it some cool, WDFW, my Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, so I made an account and it, this is, this is the one that says hunt by right there, hunt by reservation. Uh, and it's a little star reservation hunts currently listed for this property. Uh, which I would assume that that means it's kind of like booked like a hotel. Okay. Oh, see, like right here reservation only so i guess when it comes down to stevens and i've looked at most of these the ones that say i'm kind of interested well i gotta figure out what the deal with the rich and how do you get a hold of the people there's got to be a way i know you can actually there's apps on your phones that you can go kind of like you know like to properties and then figure out who owns that land it's kind of cool When you go offline, uh, how do you do that on, on I that? save it. Okay. How do you do that? To, go, me? to make a new offline, yeah. say say I wanted to oh, be able to, with no service, hunt, yes, or yes, see this yes, with no yes. service, I would go like tools, hold on. Oh. Oh, offline maps. Do they have Wi-Fi? Look at it, offline yeah. maps, and I would make it out of that. Wait a second, are those maps from the, Onyx or your yeah, maps? These are my saved maps. Okay, so how do you do that? New map, but I have to be online to do so, that. Oh, okay, gotcha. So okay. I could go... See, that's what I forget to do when I go on a hunt. I forget to... You got to do that because you're not going to get Wi-Fi so look out at on the new map. New map. And now, okay. now I just choose... Say I want to do Cedar Woolley right here okay, okay go ahead and show me you don't, you don't need to save show. okay and then you it will just download it yeah you don't